Hey everyone, I would like to review setting up a simple bot in Trade Steward. I know when you're first starting, it can seem very overwhelming. There's a lot of knobs to turn. And especially if you're new to options, you know, it, the choices can be a bit overwhelming. So I wanted to take it slow and show you how to create a very simple bot uh, based around the tasty trade metrics. Uh, this isn't endorsing any particular strategy. Um, this is definitely is not financial advice, but this is just to show you um, if you wanted to set up a quick bot based on um, some suggestions you heard on Tasty Trade. So first thing we're going to do is come over here to bots, go down to create a bot, and bot name. Now I will say this, that there's a lot of um, options on this page. We're not going to go into depth around all of them. There are going to be other videos that touch on each section individually and each setting individually. But this is just a quick walkthrough on how to create a a, um, a trade based on Tasty Trade. So Botany, we're going to call this SPX Iron Condor. And we're going to choose the trading account we want to use. We'll go to Main. And for strategy assignment, we're going to go and put this in Tasty Trade Iron Condors. Bot status. Now, bot status you can enable here or when you're done creating the bot. I like to do it now because if I don't, sometimes I forget and I'll hit create and it'll give me a pop-up and I'll have to do it then. So I like to just go ahead and do it now. Trading symbol, we're going to go down here to SPX. Trade type, we're going to select Condor, and this will give us four legs over here. We're going to skip AM expirations. SPX does have AM expirations at certain times, but we don't want to trade those. So we're going to leave that at a, uh, AM uh, to be skipped. And we're going to leave these as default. And down here, Delta, um, we're going to do a 30 Delta 50 point wide Iron Condor. So the option type here is put. And this is our short, and we're going to target 45 days to expiration. And leg two, this is part of the put vertical. We're going to make this 50 points wide. So this is our put, long, and we're also going to target 45 days. Remember, with an iron condor, all the legs have to have the same days to expiration. We're also going to make our call side 30 delta. Option type is call, and this is a short. And we're going to make this 45 days. And the long side, or the long portion of the call vertical, we will also make 50 points wide, call, long, and we will make this 45 days expiration. We'll come down here to trade entry. So we have bot settings or user trigger. Bot settings is where we're just having it kick off at certain times, and that's what we want to use here. So we're going to leave that. Uh, for position sizing, we're going to do, do quantity one going to leave those default and entry time window. We want to kick this off every morning at say right when market opens. So we're going to go to 9 and let's give it a couple minutes after market opens. So we'll go 932 and we'll end this at 937. I'll say you want to give yourself about a five minute window. Um, if for any reason the market is thrashing about it may be challenging to get filled right away, so it may take the, the bot platform a few tries to get your order in. So give yourself a window. I like to do five minutes. And we're going to do this every day of the week. So we'll just click All. And since we're doing 45 days to expiration, that means there's going to be positions on all the time. So we're going to want to use staggered days. And that just means it doesn't look at what positions are on. It just, the day interval we put in is how many days it's going to wait to put in new positions. So we're doing this every day. So we're just going to put uh, one as the day interval. Entry speed, we're going to do fast. And we're going to come down to trade exit. Uh, we're not going to do a timed exit. We're going to look for percent profit target of 50%. Trade stop, we're going to have to do any trade stops. We're just going to let this run to expiration. It's defined risk. And that's all we're going to do. And that is it. And we would come down here and we would hit create. And it's going to tell us that our bot savings settings save successfully. And that's it. Now, as you saw, there was a lot of extra settings we could have done, and we're going to cover that in other videos. But this is just a quick and dirty look on how to create a very simple bot based around settings that Tasty Trade uh, speaks about a lot in their studies. Thank you, and we'll see you at the next video.